Biff. Yeah, Mr. Ref. Biff, what's wrong? I don't think I can go to the game, Mr. Ref. What? Why not? Because I have to take the train to go down to the game, Mr. Ref. But BZ ate my schedule, and I can't see what time the train's supposed to go. BZ ate your train schedule? Yeah, is that, is that BZ, your dog? No, Mr. Ref. BZ, that's my little sister. You know my little sister. Uh, okay, so she ate your train schedule, and so you don't know what time the train leaves? Right, Mr. Ev. Well. I, mean, I have part of it, but I don't have the you whole You have part schedule. of it. Yeah. Let me see what you have here. Okay, here it is, Mr. Ev. All right, maybe we can take the times that we know on here and figure out maybe what time the other trains leave. All right, so we have a train leaving at 1, one leaving at 4, yeah. and we're not sure, and then we have a train leaving at... Ten, no, and then so we're not sure. Know. Right, I don't know. All right. Well, let's just look at the hours, uh, the number in the hours place, and we have one, four. We're not sure. Ten, and then we're not sure. Do you see a pattern here, Biff? Oh uh, yes, I do, Mister Riff. What do you see? Well, on your shirt there, you got the stripes. They're going yeah. up and yeah. down. <laughs> that's, that's right. And that's a pattern. I know that. That's a pattern. What about yeah. the, uh, uh, the with the numbers of the, the train times here? Oh yeah. Okay. Those <laughs> they get bigger, Mister Riff. Okay. Uh, each one's bigger than the last one. All right. So what does that mean? Well, they're increasing. That's right. All right, Biff. So when numbers are increasing, what uh, operations are we doing? Um, we're going to do a tonsillectomy and a kidney transplant, Mr. Uh, F, like surgery. No, no. I mean like mathematical operations. Oh. Well, I guess that's um, like adding and that's right. uh, multiplying. That's right. So when numbers are increasing, we're either adding or multiplying. Right. So they're getting bigger. All right, so let's put your times up here again. Okay, how do we get from one to four? Uh, we wait three hours, Mr. F. All right, I'm trying to help, Biff, okay? I want okay, you to be able to get Ref. to that game. All right. Okay. Mathematically, how do we get from one to four? Okay, Mr. F. Well, um, we can add or multiply. So okay. if we add, we take uh, one plus three is going to be four. That's right. And what's that's the other right. way? That's the right answer, Mr. That, F. You're absolutely right. What's, what's the other way? Uh, if we could multiply. So... Four times one is four. Okay, so our rule for our pattern could be plus three right. or times four. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yes, Mr. F. Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to think what time the third and fifth trains leave, and I'm going to talk to the students, okay? Okay, Mr. F., I'll think. All right, students, I want uh, you to figure out what time the third train leaves and the fifth train leaves. It's helpful to maybe use one of Biff's patterns, see which one works, okay, and see if you agree with Biff. All right, Biff, are you ready? Oh, I think I got it, Mr. F. All right. I think I got it. I figured it out. Go for it. Okay, so 1 plus 3 is 4. That's right. And 4 plus 3 would be 7, Mr. F. That's right. And 7 plus 3 is 10, so I think that works. Okay, so if okay, you now stay let, me try, let me try the other one though. Okay, yeah, that's a good idea. So four times one is four. That's right. And four times four is sixteen. And no, sixteen times I don't even know what four times sixteen is, Mister F. But that's too big. Yeah, so to go work. from one to four to sixteen, then back down to ten, no. just doesn't seem mm -hmm. right. No. All right, very good thinking, Biff. Good job. Well, thanks, Mister F. All right, <laughs> students. I hope you guys wrote thanks, down one four and then seven o'clock. <laughs> Right, so I go train. at 7 o'clock, Mr. F. You're going to go on the 7 right, o'clock train. The seven right. train. Um, Biff, let's see if the students agreed with your answer for the fifth train. What do you come up with if you keep your pattern going? Well, okay, so if I'm going to add 3, Mr. F, that's 10, 11, 12, but it's 1 o'clock, not 13 o'clock, Mr. F. Okay, that's right. There's no 13 o'clock, Mr. F. That's right. So you would go 11 p.m., 12 a.m., and then 1 a.m. Very good. Right, Students, Mr. F. show us your signals if you agreed or disagreed with Biff. Come on, kids. Agree all with me. All right. I think we got all the, all the signals up. Very good, kids. 1 a.m. is that last train. Good job. Okay, Mr. F. That's what I'm coming home, 1 a.m. All right. But real quick before you go, Biff, oh. are you ready for the real deal? Yeah. I love games, Mr. F. You love games. I want games. to play. I want door number three, Mr. Door F. Door number three. Door I'm number not, three. I'm not talking about game shows. I'm talking about maybe our toughest question of the day. Are you Mr. ready for F. it? F. Okay. You can do this, Bill. Okay. All right. What are the missing train numbers? We have train oh. 64 and then train 32, and then we weren't sure what train. Oh, right. And I don't know eight. which train to take. And then, yeah, we only know, know what number to get seven, on. but... 
All right. So okay, this is Mr. what Rev. I want you to do. Okay, Mr. Rev. What have you noticed about the pattern on this one so far, the mathematical uh, pattern? Well, 64, 32, skip, and then 8. That's getting smaller, Mr. F. Decreasing. So, decreasing. So that means what two operations right, are we Mr. doing? Subtract. Or? And divide. Very good. All right, Biff. What I want you to do is I want you to figure out when uh, what train number, the third train number, and the fifth train numbers are. Okay, Mr. Rev. While you're doing that, uh -huh. we're going to have our students maybe whisper with their neighbors cool. and see if they can write down what train numbers the third and fifth are. But you got to do it on your own. I think you can do it. So, Biff, we have train 64. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we have train 32. Okay. And then we don't know the train number for the third train. We know the time, but we don't know right, the that's number. That's BZ ate it. That's right. And then train 8... And then we don't know what the last train is. Right. So, but it goes at 1 o'clock in the morning. I know that. That's right. That's right. So we need to figure out those missing train numbers. So, oh, Okay, Ms. Dreff. Let's just write the numbers down. While I'm writing the numbers down, I want the students hmm. to compute the numbers of train 3 and train 5. And hey, Mr. F. Yes, sir. Hey, remember that time we went out and got a sandwich? Okay. Wait, oh, uh, yes, but hang yeah, on. That was fun. That's right. All right, when the numbers are going down or decreasing, what two operations are we looking at, Biff? If they're going down, they're getting smaller, so we're subtracting or, or dividing. That's right. Okay, very good. So, students, if you want to uh, write down the answers. Come on, guys, you can do it. All right, now, Biff, they probably have their answers. I want you to figure this out. So if you could maybe think out loud about how you're attacking this problem. Okay, well... If I subtract, Mr. F, so that's uh, 64 minus 32, and that's 32. That's right. So I don't think I could subtract it because then I'd end up with zero because 32 minus 32 is zero, and that's probably not the number of the train, the yeah. third train. Yeah, it probably doesn't go down and then go back up to eight. So. No. All right, that's good thinking. Keep so, going. Okay, um, well, half, if I divide, you know, like half, of uh, 64 is 32, so maybe I'm dividing by two, Mr. F. All right, so go ahead let and me, see if that let works. Me, let me try that. Okay, okay, let me try it. So, 32 divided by two is 16. So, okay, is the third train number 16? Um, we'll see if we agree with our friends. Keep going. I'm on a roll, Mr. F. All right. <laughs> I'm on a roll now. So, okay, so 16 divided by two is going to be eight, which matches the pattern on there, right? That's is right. Is that right? So if I divide 8 by 2, I get 4, and the last train is number 4, right, Mr. F? All right, let's see if our friends agree with you. Woo-hoo! I think I'm right, Mr. <laughs> okay. F. I think I'm right. All right, let's see. Um, students, the third train, Biff is saying, is train 16, and the fifth train is saying train 4. You guys are all correct. Good Yay! job. Mr. Right. F. So I'm going to take train number 8 home at... Uh, 10 o'clock, Mr. F? Yeah, you should be home by 10. Okay. That's what my mom said. All right, you better get going. I don't want you to miss your train. Okay, Enjoy well, the game. Thanks, Mr. F. All right, see you, Beth. Uh, thank you. <laughs>